It's going to be busy up in the skies as well. The TSA predicting that its agents are going to screen more than 17 million people during the uh, holiday period that started Thursday and then it runs through next Wednesday. Crown Force Gail Long has been talking to travelers at SFO and has this report. We are heading to Chicago for a family reunion. This is our last hurrah. This is Emily Kohanowitz and her family's last stop before heading back home to the East Coast. Summer's been great. It's been busy. Came out to California to visit family for two weeks before we head back. San Francisco International Airport is expecting 930,000 travelers this Labor Day weekend. That's almost 9% higher than last year and about 97% of pre-pandemic Labor Day traffic. Travelers on Friday relieved to find the airport. Pretty empty, <laughs> pretty empty, but I have clear, so I'll be able to get through no matter what anyways. Looks fine right now, so should be okay. We are early, so we don't want to be in the rush, so we are like two hours early here. Airport workers say the busiest times are in the mornings and evenings. While the lines in the afternoon were short, it was a different story elsewhere. In Chicago airport, it was so busy and so many people. This San Francisco woman and her family grateful to be back home just in time for the long weekend. Uh, when we are returned yesterday, our flight was canceled because in, in Washington, they have a storm is going on. So um, our flight was delayed and later on it was canceled. So um, we were supposed to be right here yesterday, but now we just got here. Nationwide, the Transportation Security Administration predicted its agents would screen more than 17 million people during the holiday period that started Thursday and runs through next Wednesday. Usually I don't travel on the holidays, but I just had some business meetings that kind of ran up to the holiday weekend, so I'm relieved to see that I don't have to wait in line for a super long time. We're so. going to a friend's wedding in Portland. Kaden Godinez from Hayward beat the rush with his wife and dog Casper. He loves traveling. He's been to the beach. He's been to Mexico. And we listened to the news early this morning, and so my wife's a great planner, and we are here many hours early, so we're just going to relax and get into vacation mode. Um, and not fight any crowds or anything. So. And travelers are urged to arrive to the airport early, two hours if you are flying domestic, three hours if you are flying international. Reporting here at SFO, Gail Ong, Cron 4 News. As long as the line is moving and we don't have any glitches, not a lot of turbulence, yeah. we good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's all you need. In the East Bay, some people had a positive attitude as they got through the Oakland airport where the lines were pretty long today. The airport recommended people arriving two hours before for domestic flights, three hours at a time for international flights. And for people with time to spare, there are new concessions available in Terminal 1 at the Oakland airport. So that's exciting. As